Hey what's up guys Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video a step by step guide on how to get to the Juboko boss fight in Call of Duty Mobile Zombies. I have a solo hardcore raid guide for you guys how to get there even if you play alone. Easy easy guide there's a very few steps to get to the boss fight. So if you don't know already there are two different boss fights in Call of Duty Mobile raids and this one is kind of a secret easter egg it's kind of hidden in the game and if you don't know how to get there you will not find it all you'll get is the abomination boss fight which is like purple and blue so let's go guys and go with the start of the game so let's start from the beginning guys before we start make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more call of duty mobile videos i post every day i have zombies i have multiplayer i have battle royale tips and i stream five days a week so let's go with the start of the game guys i do hardcore raid solo and it's really manageable it's not that hard um but of course i suggest you buy the the quick revive perk at the start what it does is it's gonna give you an extra revive token so you can die four times in the raid and it's gonna revive yourself for free you won't have to use your own tokens so round one and two guys uh just like when you play survival just clear everything fast for hardcore raids, you have to survive 12 rounds. And check the top of the screen, you see in round 12, after round 12, you'll have the Abomination boss fight. And if you do the Easter eggs, it's just a few steps, you'll have a different boss at the end. The rest of the raid is the same, but instead of Abomination, you'll have Juboko at the end. Yesterday on stream, a lot of guys asked how we get to that boss fight. I promise I was going to post a video today, so here it is. So just clear round one and two, and round three, you'll have to go and repair the elevator. So basically, it's what I do at the start of round three. I let the zombies spawn, then I open that door, and I will go all the way uh, and go downstairs, because down the stairs, you'll find the mystery box. So you have pretty much at least 3,000 points. You can go ahead and buy a few weapons just to replace your pistol and have two weapons. Even if you get crap items, it's gonna be good enough to survive round four and probably round five also. So now you're gonna go and look around. Uh, you can kill some of the remaining zombies, but you will look around in that area at the bottom and look for repair, uh, repair piece. It's like cogwheels, metal parts to repair the elevator. This is what I did. I kill everything. I left one zombie alive and then I go look around the area. It could be behind. It could be near the stairs. There you go. You see one right here. It's a, a repair part so you can pick it up and you have to find two of these. Now this is the second one. It was on the shelf here. So look at all the shelves. Look on the floor but usually it's gonna be in that area. Once you have the two repair parts you're gonna go back up the stairs and you have an elevator right here. You go to the red box and you're gonna repair twice. It says uh, repaired one out of two, and then you're gonna repair again. Once you're done repairing it, you can now use it, and you will be teleported in a different map. But here we go. So you're in that area now. Uh, you can look for perks. If you can find Juggernaut early, that's gonna be really good, but Juggernaut is not guaranteed to be there. So uh, look around for perks, but this is where the Easter egg starts. You have something to do here, guys is look for the area with the plants, all right? So this is right here. Um, it's, a, it's a secret underground lab. You see some plants there. Look for these blue eggs. And when you shoot them, they're gonna spawn like uh, tentacles or something. You see that? So you have to shoot all of these until they stop spawning. This is the only thing you have to do at the start. Shoot the eggs. And when they spawn some, some plants, you have to shoot the plants. Now, once you're done shooting them all, they're gonna stop spawning and you're gonna hear something. It means you're done with step two. Now you're gonna look for a table with uh, a red light here. You gotta go there and you're gonna click on it. It says start. You're going to have something that pops and uh, look at the top of the screen now. The boss change is now Juboko instead of Abomination. So that is all guys. All you have to do, start the game on hardcore. Uh, do the first two rounds just to clear the zombies. Look for the two repair kits. Repair the elevator. 
And then you go down, shoot all the eggs, the blue eggs and the plants until there's no more eggs or plants spawning. Then go to the table, click on it and you're done. That's all you have to do. So the rest of the game is going to be clearing round 3 to 12. And after round 12, you'll have the boss fight. Now some solo strategy guys, I posted a zombie solo strategy guide yesterday, look for my other video on my channel, but basically it's not that hard. Every round you want to start here near the flogger trap, uh, this is pretty much the only door you need to open if you already have the juggernaut. And you're gonna start every round here, you're gonna run loops around the map and when all the zombies spawn you can just shoot in the pack, it's very easy. The first few rounds will be easy, but when you get to round 9, 12, 11, uh, the zombies start having more HP, so maybe you'll need better weapons. So after each round, you can leave one zombie alive and go for the mystery box. Try to get better guns. Uh, the ray gun's really good. Uh, you can go and buy more perks. You can go and buy some buffs. Uh, I really suggest using the damage buffs and the HP buffs. And when you have extra money, you can go and upgrade your buffs at the machine. So guys, once again, make sure you check out my solo strategy guide. Now we go with the boss fight strategy. Once you're done clearing the last round, round 12, you'll have 60 seconds to prepare for the boss fight. So what I do is I always go to the, the buff machine. It's the, the gray box with the yellow light. And I spend all my money there. You can upgrade all three perks to level 5. And then you can go on the fourth slot and it's going to randomly upgrade uh, one of your perks. So you see at the bottom, I got perks level six, seven and eight, uh, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, so, yeah, you get more damage and more HP to help you survive the boss fight. If you have extra money, you can buy a random uh, power, but I almost never use these. Now, when the timer runs out, you get teleported to the boss fight. Juboko's got one weak point and it's the face. You have to shoot him. On the face it's not the whole the whole head if you shoot him in the back it's not gonna have extra damage but if you shoot him like in the front of the face it's gonna have it's gonna take some crit damage you'll see the the white numbers of damage they will become yellow now at the start of the boss fight you are getting radio message from your I don't know if it's your 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 squad leader or something but it says it's a plant it must be vulnerable to fire so you will receive air support and um, it took me a while to figure it out, but whenever you hear that radio message, look at the, the map overall because like this is the radio message, they're gonna launch fire on the map. So you have to try to kite the boss to walk into the fire. You see the fire in the middle? So you have to go behind the fire and the boss will, will chase you. Now here I missed, but later on stream uh, yesterday, we did it a few times. So that's how it works, guys. You will only have a few shots at the fire trap. If you do it, correctly it's going to deal a lot of damage to the boss but if you miss it's not a big deal just keep shooting the face guys and use your strongest weapons to do the most damage like as much as you can and that's pretty much it run around the map try to avoid the zombies turn around shoot the face and that's pretty much it guys it's got a lot of hp once the orange bar uh, runs out it's gonna be another full bar of hp so it takes a while you only have 10 minutes to clear the boss fight uh, if you don't like your weapons, you can buy weapons on the wall also. And you got infinite ammo for the boss. So if you get trapped here, shoot um, the vines. They try to trap you. Just shoot them or knife them. And then just keep moving, guys. That's pretty much it. Now, once you're done with the boss fight, you will get your rewards. Once again, you'll have five, uh, five gifts. Usually one purple and uh, four blue items. So that's it. Full solo Easter egg guide. Super simple. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know there's a lot of guides on YouTube with extra steps. You don't have to shoot the radios. You don't have to read the journals. So once again, all you got to do is find the repair kits, repair the elevator, go down, shoot the plants, and click the box with the red light, and you'll have the different boss fight at the end. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it for me. I will be back later. Hit the like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more. I'll be back later. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.